What's up YouTube? Lizard on Andrew here back with another video. And today I'm going to be opening up a Pokemon Go Elite Trainer Box. This Elite Trainer Box was sent to me by Bulba Cards. Bulba Cards is your first stop shop for all things Pokemon TCG. They have a huge variety of sealed products, singles, slabs, and much, much more. And the best part about Bulba Cards is they guarantee an MSRP price on all in-print products. It does not get much better than that. So without further ado, let's jump right into this opening. All right, so let's take a look at a Pokemon Go Elite Trainer Box. So Pokemon Go is the latest set in the Pokemon TCG world, and it is obviously inspired by the extremely mega popular Pokemon Go game that was released in 2016 for mobile phones. Um, I truly believe that Pokemon Go was responsible for the large resurgence of Pokemon that we've seen in the last like five or six years because it really drew back in that original generation of fans with the Gen 1 Pokemon that were kind of exclusive in Pokemon Go in the beginning. Um, and it really brought a lot of people back into digging up their collections, showing them to their children, because you know, my generation now, we have little ones that we're trying to show Pokemon to. <laughs> so I really think that Pokemon Go was a pioneer in just making Pokemon bigger than ever. Um, it really surprises me, honestly, that it took them this long to make a set out of it because I know I've seen really weird like bootleg Pokemon cards that are that kind of were advertised as Pokemon Go cards and they were just like screenshots from the game printed on the cards. It was super weird, but Pokemon finally cracked down and they're like, you know what? We're gonna make a card game based on this game and it's gonna have some like realistic card art um, to kind of translate to the game itself. Um, so they, they released this set similar to like Champion's Path and Shining Fates where there are no booster boxes. There's only specialty collections such as ETBs and like gift boxes and stuff like that. So the ETB, once again, like Champion's Path and Shining Fates is like your best bang for your buck. You get 10 packs. You get a really cool promo uh, Mewtwo card because Mewtwo is on the front. You can actually see all the con contents on the back right here. It's actually kind of nice. Um, yeah, there's a little Mewtwo promo card in there. There's 10 packs because you know the normal ETB comes with eight. Uh, the special T ones always come with 10. And other than that, it's kind of your standard ETB. You're gonna get some sleeves featuring the, the Mewtwo on the front. You're gonna get your dice, your coins, um, the rule book and everything that you need to play. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's crack into it and check it out. So let me get my trusty scissor. So yeah, so I remember, I vividly remember Pokemon Go when it first came out. Um, it definitely was a huge phenomenon at the time because Pokemon, to me, Pokemon never really died in popularity, but it definitely had kind of a lull. Um, at some point, you know, a lot of us started growing up and we started getting out of it. Um, and they kind of found a way to bring the adults into it too, because I literally had a boss who was like an ex-military uh, army sergeant or something, and he was playing it too. He was coming over to my desk and he was like, what is this? this? This spider? What is this creature? And I just couldn't believe it, like how how big this game really was. That like adults were playing it, you know. Um, so it definitely makes you feel a lot better to be an adult collector like myself. That other people were, were kind of getting involved in this stuff again. It was just a really exciting time. Um, so anyway, so here is the Pokemon Go Elite Trainer Box booklet. The you know all these booklets always have like kind of the set checklist in there. Gives us a little preview. It's a pretty small set. I'd compare this more to like Champion's Path, where I think it's like an 88 card set, including all the secret rares. But what's awesome about it is it does heavily feature the Gen 1 Pokemon. You got the Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise in this set. And then of course, introduced in Astral Radiance is the Radiant Pokemon. And we get Venusaur, Radiant Venusaur, Radiant Charizard. That's a big chase right there. And Radiant Blastoise. So it'd be really cool if we pulled one of those today. But uh, other than that, there there is a mix of generations in here. You can kind of see like Glossopod is like a random like the Gen 5 or something. But Mewtwo is the star of this set because Mewtwo is on the ETB. You get a Mewtwo V, a Mewtwo V star. And then there's a ton of uh, secret rares. There's a rainbow. There's a, there's a bunch of rainbows in this set, but there's a rainbow Mewtwo V star. There's a gold Mewtwo V star. And I think my personal chase in this set is that Mewtwo V alt art. The set features two alt arts. You can see Conkledor right there. And I don't know why they picked Conkledor. No, no, no hate on anyone that loves Conkledor, but very random. But that artwork looks awesome. It's like 
literally kind of reminds me of Pokemon Stadium, if anything, than you know versus Pokemon Go. But they, they're going for that hyper realistic artwork. And Mewtwo, the Mewtwo alt right there reminds me of when Pokemon Go first came out and they were advertising like raid battles and stuff like that. And it kind of reminds me. I'm from New York, so it kind of reminds me of like Times Square, like Mewtwo just like chilling in Times Square. That that would be insane if Pokemon was real and you had to go all the way to New York City to catch Mewtwo, because that's kind of how they advertised it at the time. But they printed that on a card, and that's super super cool. Um, and then what's pretty cool too is the uh, you know to kind of entice you to play the game too. Uh, there's a bunch of codes in here too for some in-game items. I haven't redeemed any of these yet, but I'm sure it's like pokeballs and berries and stuff like that. And then we have our standard ETB, but I'm loving all these newer ones are metallic and stuff like that. They're really getting higher quality. And let's open it up. So yeah, just like I showed on the back, you got the sleeves. Let's go through this pretty quickly. Um, the promo card, Mewtwo V is pretty awesome. This definitely, would, like I was saying before, this whole set is just full of Mewtwo's. They even give you a free one in the ETB. Um, but very beautiful, full art, uh, full art Mewtwo. And it's really that purple and the blue, it just really pops. It's a beautiful card. Um, and then you get the, uh, the dice. Of course, the, oh, the dice actually say Pokemon Go on them. Let's see if we can reveal that a little bit. It says Go, but the dice always reflect the colors of the ETV, so it's kind of blue. Um, you get your deck dividers. That same uh, Mewtwo artwork, that blue Mewtwo artwork. Uh, you get your pack of energies. Wouldn't be an ETV without a thousand energies. Because again, these were designed to play the game with. So right out of the box, you can definitely put a deck together with these. The V-Star coin. You get your uh, Paralyzed and uh, Poisoned coin. And then why we're here is the Juicy should be 10 packs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Pokemon Go packs. So let me just reassess myself here. And uh, interesting about the Pokemon Go set is that... Hold on, let me just put this away is that the there's only one pack art so usually we're used to three sometimes four pack arts um i think even five in more recent sets but pokemon go just kept it simple and every pack is the same art but it's an awesome art so if they only had one they got a little bit of everything in there there's mewtwo pikachu blissey gyarados uh the professor conkledore uh is that apom in the corner a little larvitar eating some gold berries and the pokey pokey stops which is an integral part of the gameplay of pokemon go too so without further ado let's just start opening packs so first pack in so this is a small set, but it does it's not like the celebration set where there's only four cards. However, there is a hollow in every pack. So then it's like champion's path. So there's gonna be a hollow in this pack. So the, the hollows in this set are gonna be kind of almost treated like non-hollow rares because you're gonna probably get a million of the same ones. But you can get a Charizard Blastoise or Venusaur. So no matter how worthless they are, I'll always be happy to pull a Charizard. So for this pack, I'm gonna guess fire energy for Charizard and no fire. So we got a dark energy, a pokey stop. Unpheasant. I remember when Pokemon Go came out, it was like trying to find the best places with the most Pokey stops. Like, of course, like Manhattan was full of them. Uh, my neighborhood had some kind of significant areas where you just kind of walk up and down the block and you just keep hitting the same Pokey stops over and over again. It was such a really fun time. It was really a good memory. Uh, Rare Candy, Squirtle, Tranquil. It looks like every card in the set features the Pokemon Go stamp on the side. Uh, Charmander. Uh, Eevee. It's, no, it's one of those like hyper realistic artworks right there. It looks like kind of like a CGI, like uh, Detective Pikachu kind of style, like Eevee right there. Uh, Natu. A reverse Zapdos. And another thing I forgot to mention is this set has a Ditto card that can come in your reverse slot. And we'll have a little Ditto in the corner right there. Maybe we'll pull one. I'm not sure. But you can actually peel the card like a sticker and then it reveals a Ditto underneath it. It's kind of a very wacky Pokemon gimmick that I've never really seen before in any other TCG. So it was very cool of them to do that. Um, but then our first rare is a holographic Blastoise. So like I was just saying, you can get the regular Gen 1 starters as regular hollows. Um, really awesome to see that. Not, I don't really care about the values of, the, of these. I, I, I would love a million Blastoise Venusaurs, especially Charizard. So first hollow was pulled and we got a Blastoise regular hollow. So next pack. So... 
uh, for this one, I'm gonna say uh, water energy for Blastoise. And we got a grass, grass energy, spark, Ariados, Blanche, Apom, Spinarak, Ratatat, Wimpod, Pikachu. There's like a hyper -realist, realistic Pikachu right there. And we got a Radiant Venusaur in our second pack. Oh my god. That is a beautiful card, too. I love these Radiants. They really took it up a notch. You know, we had the Shiny Babies. We had um, the Amazing Rares. And they decided, you know what? We're going to just make this crazy prismatic hollow. But it still has that awesome fingerprint-like texture on it. But a Radiant Venusaur has been pulled. Absolutely beautiful. And then our rare is a regular hollow Mel Metal. So we got that guaranteed hollow in there, but this was a double banger pack. Awesome. Radiant Venusaur in the second pack. Oh man. This is one of those sets like, well, it seems like they're doing that a lot lately, but like I love the sets that give you kind of like a second chance at a hollow, you know, in that reverse slot. So you can really, you can really double your odds of getting a really awesome pull. But there you go. We got a Radiant Venusaur and a regular hollow Mel Metal. So that's a two for one right there. So now we're on pack number three. So this pack actually has a V-Star card, so I'm not going to be guessing the energy. We got a V-Star. Kind of uh, spoils the fun when you flip the cards over because the back of it is black. Candela, Lunatone, Ivysaur, Slowpoke, Bidoof, Magikarp, Apom, Meltan. Meltan was a exclusive Pokemon to Pokemon Go, so Meltan is like the Pokemon Go Pokemon, you know, <laughs> Meltan. We got a reverse Tranquil. Got to keep an eye out for that ditto symbol. And then the rare is a regular holographic Galassapod. So very random Pokemon they chose for this set, but a very cool Pokemon nonetheless. So next pack. Oh, four from the back. Let's just hope for the best with this one. Um, fighting energy. And we got an electric, electric energy, lore module, pupitar, chancy, Oop. bulbasaur, natu, ambipom, slowpoke, another hyper realistic Pokemon. He's like straight up fishing at the park, larvitar, a reverse Ariados, and the rare holographic Charizard was pulled. All right, so like I was saying, regular hollows are are welcome in this set when you get all the original Kanto starters. So we got a Blastoise and now we got a Charizard, a regular holographic Charizard. Always good to see my Charizard baby right there. And also the background is kind of like a city too. I don't know if you can see it in the light, but underneath the hollow is kind of Charizard just flying through, you know, a, any city. To me, it would be New York. So Charizard, New York City. Kind of reminds me of the Lucky Stadium card that I got when I was a kid from the original Pokemon Center in Rockefeller Center. Kind of reminds me of that. But anyway, next pack. Alrighty. So next pack. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna say a Steel. And we got a Fighting. We got a Fighting Energy. Ariados. Steelix. Zatu, Larvitar, Numel, Bulbasaur, Onyx, Bibberal, Reverse Slowbro. I actually really like that Slowbro artwork too. It's like, it's not hyper realistic, but it's almost like a painting or something. It looks really cool. And then our rare, we got the Alt Art Mewtwo V. No way. Oh my God. Literally, the, in my opinion, the best card in this entire set. It's a very small set, so I don't really know what the pull rate is like on this card. But wow, what a beautiful card. Oh my god, talk about the city. Let's get that, that Charizard just pulled next to each other. We got two city boys right here. We got the Charizard and the Mewtwo V alt art. Oh my god, amazing. Oh man, beautiful. And honestly looks pretty good as far as centering goes so i think we lucked out because the last couple alt arts i've gotten have been horrible with the centering you know um i'm not a huge grader but i do like to keep my uh extremely rare cards in the best shape possible and i take pride in the centering on them 
So this one definitely looks really good. Oh my God, amazing. What are we halfway in? We still got one, two, three, four, five. Five, five packs in and we got the best card in the set. Oh my God. I mean, now we got to get the rest of the Mewtwo's. So there's like six other ones in the whole set. So <laughs> but I got the best one down right in, right in the beginning. Amazing. Look at that. Beautiful. So I'll put that to the side. So let's just, let's just keep going. You know, uh, we got a Radiant. We got an Alt Art. We got a Charizard. This set rules. It's so fun to open. So next pack in. I'm gonna do a psychic energy for that Mewtwo. Let's try to get another Mewtwo out of this box, like a like a rainbow or a gold. Uh, psychic, and it's a fire. Fire energy, egg incubator, war turtle, unpheasant, charmander, Eevee, Numel, Alolan Raticate, Tranquil, Reverse Eevee. Really wanna get one of those dittos, and the rare. A regular holographic Pikachu. So Pikachu has, I think, two different arts in this set. There's like a common Pikachu, and then you have this holographic one that has a little hat with like, I don't know, is that the cards on it or something? It's just like Pokemon cards on his hat, but he's wearing a hat. Pikachu in a hat, holographic rare, was well, pulled. So another uh, OG Pokemon, Gen 1. You need to have like a really cool like alt art Pikachu, you know? Um, for this one, I'm gonna say dark. And we got a psych now we got a psychic. Psychic energy, Pupitar, Chansey, Spark, Eevee, Pikachu. See, that's the common Pikachu, so now we can actually see really quick. There is this one. Honestly, I like the artwork on this one better. Like this one should have been holographic, but maybe they wanted to really uh show off that like hyper realistic person with his little converses. He's wearing yellow converses, of course, for Pikachu, but two different Pikachus in the set. Um, anyway, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Squirtle, Spinarak, Wimpod. We got a reverse rare Moltres. Pretty awesome. I think the, the three birds are in this set. And then the rare holographic Moltres. So we got a two for one special right there. We got both Moltres. So going for the master set, I got two in one shot right there. So holographic Moltres and a reverse. We got the set. Very cool. So yeah, I think, uh, you know, they're they're really harping on the origins of Pokemon Go, where like it was only Gen 1, and we all had to wait for like the legendaries to be released in like raid battles and stuff like that. So that's probably why they got the three legendary birds in Mewtwo like heavily featured in this. So maybe in the future we'll get like a, uh, we'll get like a Pokemon Go 2 set where they have like Gen 2 and stuff like that in there. That would be, that'd be pretty cool. So anyway, next pack. So we got, we're done to the last three packs. These ETBs always go really fast, especially like the ones that have like 10 packs in them. You'd think it'd be longer, but nope. Um, uh, electric Energy. And we got a Steel. Steel Energy. Unpheasant. Rare Candy. Camerupt. Onyx. Viveral. Meltan. Magikarp. Apom. Reverse P Dove, it's not a ditto, and the rare, a regular holographic Tyranitar. So we're getting all the regular hollows so far. We got that alt, but the but the rest are I think are regular hollows so far. So two packs to go. Let's see what we can do here. Alright, for this one I'm gonna say uh fire. And we got a steel, steel energy, candela. Lunatone, Rare Candy, Pikachu, Squirtle, Bibril, Alolan Ratatat, Numel, Reverse Pupitar, and the Rare, we got a Dragonite V Full Art, wow, beautiful Dragonite, uh, I don't think Dragonite, oh, well Dragonite has an alt art in Evolving Sky, so Dragonite in this set, this is probably, in my opinion, the best version you can get. So that's awesome. A regular full art Dragonite. And they're still keeping Dragon type around. It's kind of here to stay, I think, for a while. So awesome. Another awesome Gen 1 Pokemon. When everyone was running around, there's a uh, there's a marina by where I, where I used to live. And when Pokemon Go came out, for some reason, Dragonite just spawned there all the time. So you would go there and it would be crowds of people just screaming in herds going, Dragonite, Dragonite, you know, just looking around. And it was so cool. So Dragonite gets kind of the spotlight in the set as well. So here we have it, last pack magic. I don't even know if we need it. We got some amazing stuff in this so far. Here we go. Maybe we can get a ditto or something. 
Uh, for the last pack, I'm going to say a fighting type. And it's a fighting type. All right, we got one right right at the end. Fighting type energy. Unpheasant. Camerupt. Steelix. Onyx. Eevee. Numel. Alolan Raticate. Tranquil. We got a reverse, regular reverse Charmander, so no dittos. And the final rare is a Slacking V. So we got a little bit of everything in this box, I'd say. So let's take a look at our pulls. Because what's great about this set, you get a hollow in every box or in every pack. So uh, in from last to first, we got a Slacking V. Try to make them in little, their own little piles. We got this awesome full art Dragonite V. So I guess those are technically separate categories. We'll kind of put them like that. And then we got a ton of regular hollows. We got Tyranitar, no repeats though. Tyranitar, we got a Moltres, we got a Pikachu. Uh, I'm gonna save that, you know who I'm saving for the end. <laughs> we got a Galossopod hollow. We got a Melmetal hollow. And then what's really awesome too, is we got a Charizard hollow, a Blastoise hollow, and the Radiant Venusaur. So technically, I got all three of the Gen 1 Final Evolutions in one box. So we didn't get a regular Hollow Venusaur, but we got the Radiant Venusaur, which honestly is better. So one down, two to go, but beautiful. And without further ado, last but not least, we got the Alt Art Mewtwo floating in what looks like Times Square to me. Uh, imaginary Times Square in Pokemon World. I don't, I don't know the exact location of this, but what a beautiful card. What a, what a beautiful pull. Oh my God. Like, you know, I haven't even opened much of this setup yet and I already pulled my chase card. So whenever this happens, I'm probably gonna end up buying mostly singles for the rest of this set because it's always fun to pull your chase and then just buy the rest of the ones that you want. So maybe I'll open a little more of this set. I think some more boxes are coming later this month, but wow. So there you have it. Mewtwo V was pulled. Um, if you really like this video, go ahead and give me a like and a follow. Drop a comment below what your favorite card I pulled was. There's so many to choose from in this video. Obviously, Mewtwo is my favorite. And don't forget to check out my sponsor, BulbaCards.com. He's got plenty of uh, Pokemon Go in stock and every future set. You can pre-order stuff. You can put like $5 down. I don't really see many other people doing that. So that'll be in the description below. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for another Lizardon opening. See ya.